<laughs> Eats like a bear. Okay, I gotta get the fork. Eats like a lion. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. What's up? I'm Michelle. I'm Joy. And welcome to day 12 of our carnivore diet experiment. Yeah. And, um,. I would say it's going pretty good. It is going pretty amazing, I have yeah. to say. So what we got on the menu today, Chef? Okay, so we had this huge filet of salmon, Atlantic salmon, okay? Not farm-raised, mm -hmm. and we decided to do salmon and papio. So basically, we wrapped the salmon in parchment paper. See, cute little pouch like that? Fancy. And we just seasoned it with salt, pepper, and butter. Mm. Uh-huh, and I just... And we also have butter on mm -hmm. the side. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I haven't had fish like this and since I was in culinary school. And that's where I got the idea. You can tear it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just you know, break on it. So we have our open it up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that looks great, Chef. Ooh. See that, guys? That's looking Ooh, I good. I smell all that butter. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, we went pretty simple with the. Can you see? Can, can you see? see? Have it up. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, baby. Mm -hmm. That's looking good. That's a big old nice piece of fish there. That's yeah. got to be at least four or five ounces. Yeah, that is buttery to me. Oh, but see, soft. I'm going. We're gonna eat till we're full, and that's right. what's awesome about carnivore. Like, mm -hmm. you eat till you're full. Oh, that's steaming. Mmm. Moist. Baby, it's real tender. Baby. Yeah, that's what the mm. um, wrapping it in, in the paper does. It keeps you moist. That's, that's Duncan Hines. That's Duncan Hines. Mm. That's moist. Oh. Mm. Hostess ain't got mm. nothing on this. It's good, though. And I want to um, dice up some of my butter. You see that steam, y'all? You see the steam coming off of that fish. Uh. Yeah, and this is our breakfast actually. Mm. Our first meal mm. of the day. Breakfast. Our brunch actually, Sunday mm -hmm. brunch. You can have fish for yeah. breakfast. Yeah. I just want to chunk up my butter a little bit so I can eat pieces of it. So, mm. it's been 12 days carnivore. Yep. And I'm feeling really good. I'm actually feeling like kind of more one with myself, Ooh. like physically. Like, I feel my body a little more. I wonder if it's maybe from, like, just not having the carbs and the bloating. Probably. Um, ooh, butter. <laughs> well, um, doing this experiment has yeah. really um, encouraged me to pay attention mm -hmm. to my body and how it feels. And that's something I wasn't used to doing. You know, you just eat and you move on and, oh, I feel nauseous. Well, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's just how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Papa Tums. Right. This is but. so good, Chef. Hey, that thank you. so good. Thank you, Savannah Tech. For the um, training. Chef Jean Bonneville. Mm -hmm. You did that. You did that. Because this fish is good. It's just so moist. It's so moist. Okay? You don't need to put a whole lot of extra fat on it either. Because the salmon is, is fatty. Yeah. But we added just, um, I think I only added one tablespoon. Yeah, one tablespoon of butter per um, uh, piece of fish. It's falling apart. <laughs> mm. But yeah, it's good. And just salt. So, salt and pepper. We did okay. pepper. So day 12, so that's almost two weeks deep of just mostly eating, well mm -hmm. basically just eating meat. Meat and fat. Yeah. Um, but we're thinking in this next coming week, we're going to back up off of the cheese. Yeah. And just stick to meat butter water that's about it <laughs> yeah. water yeah yeah i mean i still i ain't ready to let go at least some some tea drinking yeah. herbal tea i know some people are like eh, it's not pure or yeah. carnivore or whatever yeah. and the quality of the tea but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you know i might have one maybe two cups of tea in a day but mostly mm. it's water mm -hmm. carbonated flat water, water. Yeah, um <laughs> I know, I'm savoring it. Mm. <laughs> this is this is nice and moist. It, it just looks it moist. Is. And it's just flaking apart. Yeah. You don't see. You don't see this beautifulness. Mm. Ooh. Uh -huh. Get this 
a little closer so y'all can see that fish. I mean, that's really a cool hack. It to, is. To cook it in the um, Only parchment paper. 14 minutes in the oven. Shit. Okay. Good. You know what? I'm gonna have to think I'm gonna get it cooler. I'm dealing with these chopsticks makes me go slower too. Yeah, it does. But. <laughs> I think this one filet is gonna do it. Ah, uh, probably get it too, actually. All right. I think I got the biggest one, <laughs> but. Butter. That is really all you need. Okay, card ran out of memory, guys. <laughs> but we back. We back. All right. My salt or my salt. My butter needs some salt. Oh, I put some. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. just need a little extra. Oh man, this fish is like too delicious. Too delicious, so delicious. Did you say how long and at what temperature you? Um, fish? right when it was <laughs> went off. Um, oh. you only need to cook this in the oven at 375 degrees for 14 minutes. But we also let it sit in the oven with the temperature off, probably for another 10, just because we were still getting ready to mm. do this. Yeah, I was almost afraid it was gonna like dry oh. out. Yeah. Mm -mm. But I think being that paper helped it. Yeah. Lock in the moistness. Mm -hmm. mm. The saltiness and the butteriness. It's just so delicious. The it's deliciousness. Just... Now, we didn't. We were out of lemon. A lot of times, you add lemon mm -hmm. to your fish. Mm -hmm. And if you're doing, I guess, using lemon on your uh, in your carnivore diet do that you can add some mm -hmm. slices of lemon lemon zest or just squeeze some lemon juice on it after it's cooked yeah i think i'm gonna always have lemon and lime in my diet yeah i like it i like it i don't think it's detrimental or harming mm -hmm. me at least mm -hmm. i haven't felt any no. harm from it. Mm -mm. Mm. that would suck if someone would be allergic to yeah. some lemon and lime i guess it could happen but I think that, that the acid is helping out with digestion too. And then, you mm -hmm. know, I'm sure vitamins in it. Mm -hmm. Especially when we eat the rind, the zest, mm -hmm. the part that's kissed by the sun. Mm hmm. Mm. It's good. It makes me feel like a bear. <laughs> Seriously, right? <laughs> a bear out in the wild eating some fish. We a little more fancy with it, yeah. but I yeah. want to learn how to fish. We should. I mean, I'm, I'm gone fishing a couple of times, but um, it's actually kind of fun. To fish mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's some beautiful places here in Georgia mm -hmm. to fish. I want to catch some live crab though. Whoa, yeah, or lobster. <laughs> that would be awesome. Very. I know down in Tybee, we see all the um, shrimping boats. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I know the first year I moved here to Savannah, we went to the um dolphin tour and it was amazing. But almost every time we go to the beach, I swear I see a, a dolphin. Yeah. Like every time. That's really cool. Didn't mm -hmm. see that on the west side. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm. A little stingrays out there too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right, one time we were at the beach. Yeah, we were in um, Jekyll Island, and dude pulled out a stingray while wow. he was fishing. No, we were in St. Simon. St. Simon, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tell you, I don't think I've been. No, it's St. Simon. But it's so good, I gotta. <laughs> I am. Get it off. The plate. But I definitely want another piece of fish. Mm. So, anyways, yeah. Um, I've been feeling good doing carnivore mm -hmm. you know um, when you eat just a few different things you can really pinpoint 
What causes you? Yeah, what's hurting you? What's hurting you? <clears throat> making you gassy? You know, or just feel you know if you feel tired or whatever. Usually, if I Chunky. feel tired, it's because I didn't eat enough. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or if I start getting a little bit of a headache, mm -hmm. or because I did have a headache. Let me see, what day was that? Day six or seven. And I wondered almost if I'm just really going through some serious withdrawal from like mm -hmm. no carbs, no mm -hmm. sugar, and I think so. Um, maybe not drinking enough, and definitely not eating enough calories. Still in that restrictive mode, you know. Like I just can't yeah. seem to kick myself out of that. And something else I found. I am just too focused on the numbers and not paying attention to my body. Do I feel hungry? Am I tired? Do I have a headache? You know, mm -hmm. because just because uh, an app tells me I need so many calories, like how does it know? Exactly. You know, like so. It really I have to. I want to be more instinctual yes. with this and you know eat till I'm full and satiated, but not overeat and be able to go long periods of time. Um, hours like six, seven, eight hours in between, you know, mm -hmm. like in the morning mm -hmm. and then in the evening time, especially when we're not working, right? Um, and you know, yeah, just let my body have a break from eating and food and focus on healing all this other stuff. I don't want to heal that, yeah. I think it's really where our bodies are still um, learning to become fat adapted mm -hmm. for one, yeah. Um, we don't know really what that takes or how long that takes and so you know your body is going through it yeah plus I mean I've been <laughs> overweight my entire life this is 36 years of not knowing and mm -hmm. eating the wrong things how, and not knowing how to really be at your best and my you know, best to, yeah. to feed so, your body what it needs but and as far as like losing weight and being worried about that like I'm not tripping so hard off that because I know my body needs to heal yeah. my brain needs to heal my behaviors need to change and heal and that takes time it, it really 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 takes time it to does. be a different person to think yeah. on a different level about things I definitely have um I noticed the journey mm -hmm. of it all, how that's become less and less my um, focus, losing the weight. Mm -hmm. I'm more interested. Now, the more I research, the more I learn, I am more interested now in the health aspect. Mm -hmm. I, I want to be, when you're healthy, the, the extra fat, you don't need it. Your body will let lose it. Let it go. Yeah. We'll let it go because it becomes unhealthy and it doesn't need it. Yeah. Like, I think, I'm thinking, like, the reason why my body was accumulating so much weight is just trying to insulate itself and protect it right but now that trying to do something with all the, the bad carbs. stuff in yeah it doesn't oh, need sure. to try and protect 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 yeah and let it go mm -hmm. and it can start making hormones <laughs> you know mm -hmm. and get back to fixing all this stuff yeah. instead of focusing so much on keeping my sugar down yeah yeah and keeping, know, keeping me alive mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. That's what I'm learning more and more on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And yeah, but I'm really feeling like the people that I'm gonna follow straight up are the ones that have been doing it for 20 and 30 years, and that are healthy and their focus is health, not yes weight loss or selling products or making a bunch of mm -hmm. pseudo recipes and stuff like that. Yeah, it's really just about. Healing mm -hmm. the body. Yeah. Feeling we got to be grown with it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I'm starting to get full now. Yeah. But <laughs> eat like a bear. Okay, mm -hmm. I gotta get the fork eat like a lion. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm. Well, guys, you should definitely try making some fish, cooking, baking your fish, or broiling. What you saying? Bake, broil. Uh, roasted, <laughs> roasted your fish, baked roasted in the yeah. oven, um, in some paper, cause it's man, it makes it super moist and yummy and delicious. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, y'all. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Drop down in the comments and let us know if you ever have fish for breakfast or mm -hmm. brunch. Mm -hmm. And um, we're gonna see you tomorrow. I right. love you. Love you. Bye. Be healthy.